I'm with my contacts. There you go. There you go. We're live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the podcast. Uh, well, I call, I call it the wrap up because Blake's intro season pretty much done for white fish and white trout. Obviously, there's you know a lot of fish to be done. There's a lot of ice out there, and I know we had a warm spell, but I wasn't here. I was in Mexico for that, so I don't know what the ice conditions like. I didn't fish at all this weekend. You went out Wednesday, Thursday to go fish, right? I went out Tuesday, Thursday. I made it out with Josh. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, you guys yeah. wrapped it up pretty good. Before I forget, for you guys that don't know, LB, Lady Bass, she has a YouTube channel. She's a guest today. You guys are going fishing tomorrow, right? We're going fishing. Yeah. We're going north. Where are you guys going? Hopefully, uh, catch some more lakes. We're going to Muskoka. Oh, yeah? Mm. Nice. It'll be, uh, it'll, it should be fun. We should do pretty good there. But you go, You're going with Josh, too? Going with Josh. Josh, you guys got a snowmobile to go around. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. We're going to we're gonna set up. Right now, we're going to set up on that one hump and fish it pretty much. Is that where we went? so yeah oh yeah that should be good it should be good nice and warm too so it should be it shouldn't be a bad day out there but probably be my last kick of can i might go over a lot of i have to do i'm worried that my auger's not going to make it for all the ice up there oh, yeah. oh you'd be fine i hope so you'd be fine there any slush on top too right from all the the warm weather even it froze warm. back up it there's a lot up. of water like four or five inches and i took my quad and went and just checked yesterday mm -hmm. yeah and uh, I broke through, but it should be frozen today. Should be fully frozen. That's good. We don't hey, I think there's a lot of ice fishing left to do. I, I agree. It just there's gotta be a point. There's gotta, there's <laughs> you gotta gotta, cut it off. There's gotta be a point where I have to shift gears into open water. I'll probably be getting my boat in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah. We talked to the guys. When was it? Last Monday. I think we talked to him, and, and he said, "Wait a couple of weeks." And Nice. And come pick it up. So I'm excited. Nice. Did I tell yeah, you? A bunch of rigging to do. Lots of rigging. Lots of rigging. I got to install. I got to install. Um, fish finders. My fish finders and everything. I got to buy that Helix off you too. Give me money for it at least. Well, you want it now? Mm -hmm. well, I thought you're, gonna, you're not going to use it. No, I'll, I'll, I'll use it for the boat. I'll use it for a front, front craft. I need to buy a front craft. But I'll let you use my mine. For a front craft? It doesn't bigger. matter. It's bigger. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. Whatever. He leaks or yeah, you, don't, you don't need to buy Just, it. My dad might use it a bit. My dad boat? wants one for navigation. For his boat? Oh, so plug and play. Yeah, you yeah. be better. Yeah, I got lucky. One of you guys messaged me on Instagram and uh, told me the Elite 7 for the boat were on special, like 389. So he scooped one up for me. I was coming back from work. I think I was in Indiana. And I met him. Um, he owns the, you know, in, in Bradford, the uh, uh, Don Cherries. Yeah. So I met, met him there, had a beer, and uh, that's pretty cool, man. I like when you guys do that. Lots to talk about today. There's the Bassmasters Classic, the St. Paddy's Day, so there's not going to be many people online. Yeah, or if they, they are, are probably <laughs> wasting. <laughs> they are. They are. They are they're going to be. They're going to be talking shit. But LB, you got a beer to raise. I do have a beer. <laughs> she brought a beer. Straight from my hometown, almost. Um, I drink Polish beer. I grew up on Polish beer. I am of age. I'm 20 years old. Just to be I still get asked if I'm 16 or like 14 and all that stuff. I'm 20 years old. I can drink beer. Um, this is Polish beer, Legends. It's probably my top, my top three for beers. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I don't just want me to rate. What kind of beer is it? Lager? No, just I don't, I don't know. It says it up there. Did Did you buy this up here? No, it's from uh from uh Pickering. But you bought it. Yeah, it's well, yeah, I bought it in here. Okay, so it's it is in English. So it's from Lazak, <laughs> is that it? Lazak. Yeah, yeah. it's right. So it doesn't say what kind of beer it is, but you got it there. It's pretty dark actually. So it's it's not it is pretty dark. It's a lot stronger than the stuff I usually drink. But looks pretty good. I'm not drinking beer for a while, guys. I've been uh, on a diet. Not the diet, just the healthy kick, you know. Healthy kick, yeah. Healthy kick. I've been working out like crazy, so that's that's uh, you know, I did that last year. I'm doing it again. It's spring. Winter is off season for me. Well, <laughs> it's springtime now. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, so you Usually, I start running. working out end of February. Okay. I'm about yeah. 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 I know what you mean. I just started running again because like I'm not gonna. I don't like running inside, and I'm not gonna run in snow. 
No, exactly. <laughs> exactly the same. So I got I bought this heart monitor that you put it here. I've had it for a couple of months now. It's pretty cool. It's yeah. yeah, it's on the it's it's super accurate. It's what Joe Rogan and all those guys do for the Sober October okay. Challenge. Okay. So you can track and you can compete against other people. That's why I post on my Instagram. It's called My Zone Move. They don't pay me anything. I pay full price. But uh, I did my study. Had a Garmin watch. I actually returned it. You didn't like it? I it was too big and the battery yeah. died in, the, in like a day and a half. And the step counter, I mean, accurate. if I go fishing, I'm going to be 50 <laughs> like that. Yeah. I'm like this. That's true. That's yeah. true. I'm like this. And then it, it kind of casual. And it goes like, oh, you walked. 20 kilometers today. No, it's a troll and more. <laughs> no, I started using, I, I could just go on Apple Watch. I started using that. It seems to be pretty accurate. They say that now with the Apple Watch. Yeah. Did you see the study they just did? No, 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 no. They, they're able to check if you're going to have a heart problem in the or future and can give you a warning. They, yeah, they can warn you if you're about to have a stroke too, I think. Wow. That's, that's pretty cool. That's crazy. I mean, where's it coming from? It's all underneath. There's like a heart monitor or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's those two yeah, like yeah, the LED flashing yeah, lights yeah, like yeah. this. Yeah, it picks up here. Um, the heart monitor I got though, it's live like every second. It's yeah. checking. The watch is sometimes yeah, if you're not so active, they'll check yeah. every minute. If you start being active, they'll check it uh, often, often yeah. within a minute. Mm -hmm. Well, we got lots to talk about. It was a Bassmasters Classic. You guys went to their sports metro? We did. We we ran around pretty quickly, but we did go to the sportsman show. How was that? It was pretty good. The highlight was the lumberjack show. The lumberjack show. show. Oh, dog the, the dog show. show. The dog no, show it was definitely the, the lumberjack show. There's a lumberjack show. Yeah, kind of lame, but sorry, cutting trees down and stuff like that. Yeah. It was super slow. It was funny. It was just super slow between jokes. Yeah. Between what? They yeah. they have like this routine yeah. they do, yeah. and it's kind of it. Kind of hokey. Oh, it's a show. Yeah. It's a full on show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought it was a competition. Not, uh, this yeah. competition would be cool. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. He's doing a lumberjack competition. Who kick ass? <laughs> no. Chop down trees. No, that's how you got blisters, bro. <laughs> blisters. You got lifting weights, too. Can't do that on a treadmill, though. Well, once your hands are off, I guess you get used to it. Yeah. Start gloves. No. <laughs> no. You're not allowed to wear gloves. Don't wear gloves. You're allowed to wear gloves. Except not allowed to wear gloves. No, you get used to it. I mean, your hands, once you're used to it. But, uh, yeah, for sure. Even like when I start fishing the bait caster again, sometimes I get blisters on my hands and it's just gone. Yeah. So what? Uh, did you join a club this year? No. You got to. Me. I know. I, know. Sure? I was going to do it last year. I was talking to you about it last year. I just don't think I'll have the time. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot during the week, though, if you if you're going to the bass matches. Um, yeah. So we talk about clubs. A lot of you guys follow us for ice fishing, but there is bass clubs, fishing clubs that we joined what maybe six, seven years ago, me and Aaron. And uh that's how I met Aaron. And it's probably the best way for you guys to get out. You don't have a boat, you don't need a boat. Um you get people like me with their boat or people like Aaron. Um you, and then you get part partnered with them. Whether you fish against them and everybody else, you catch your own fish, or you fish as a partner. The club we fish, uh, the club you fish, which is CBF, mostly do a draw event. So let's say I'm the boater and LB is a non boater. She can get drawn with me or somebody else. She doesn't know till um, three days before the tournament. That's pretty cool. Costs about 100 bucks to join or so. You get a membership, you get um, your membership, TBF membership which is the Bass Federation, and with that, you get the uh, FLW magazine. Mm -hmm. I mean, just that in itself, it's 100 bucks for the year. Last time, so they, sent me, that. Last time they sent me a Bassmaster magazine. I don't know what happened there, but I, I swear. I was like, what's this? Really? Yeah, I know. It was kind of surprised me. But. Yeah. Um, it pays for your TBF membership, so if you do want to go fish in FLW or bigger events and regional, you're already covered. And then there's the Bassmasters, which they're most of their tournament and not a team event. You fish against everybody. You catch your own fish at the back of the boat. And I, I think they get four hours in the front, but most guys, you know, understand it's the guy's boat, so they stay at the back, and that's how it's done. But uh, did you rate that beer? I don't think it's fair to rate it. Yeah, because you love it. It's your favorite yeah. beer. Yeah, no, I can't rate it. But out of 10? Like an eight? 
Eight. Yeah. That's the strongest core we've ever had. No, you you read one of the you red lines. You read one. Eight. Yeah. Dude, that's why I don't drink it. I was gonna say you also brought. I think you also yeah. had some painkillers that night too. So we might have to be a cap of some. Oh, that's when I could walk. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. My doctor's messed up. The first thing you said to me, Kimmy, you were like, "I'm so fucked." I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> good lord." Yeah, my back. The one day was from running around the whole lake with my my snowmobile, and you get kind of waves, but it's it's dunes of snow. Yeah. It's going back and forth. My back was just messed up, man. And that's why I'm working out again. So it doesn't happen again. It didn't help that you hit a pressure crack a couple of days before. That's the thing. I hit the pressure crack. My back was messed up. I, I'm far now. I haven't had back problems since then. It really peaked out and went away. Sometimes you sleep funny too, right? But yeah, um, sure. So you guys looking to join a club, CBF is great. Uh, you go on CBF. CA. That's, yeah, I believe. And you yeah. can join. You got to do it quick. Some of these clubs don't accept anybody past, I think it's April or May. I mean, it's a hundred bucks. It's not a lot of money. And you get to fish. You pay the entrance and you get to fish with people like us and other people, obviously, not just me. Uh, you learn a lot. Uh, when I remember when I joined, I thought I knew fishing. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, it, me and you, I was talking to Josh about this the other day. I thought a spinner bait was the only thing to throw. Yeah, your my second tournament was your third tournament. We got paired together. Yeah, we learned that we suck at fishing together, <laughs> yeah. dude. It took us a while to figure that one out, but we we figured it out. <laughs> yeah, you as soon as you start fishing, you understand that there's a different season pattern to catch them, like top water. Like you're not gonna go throw a top water all day in August kind of thing. On most lakes, mm -hmm. right? And if the top water works on Simcoe in August, it might not work in Georgian Bay mm -hmm. or vice versa. Just putting it out there, like I said, and vice versa. But yeah, vice versa. Uh, but LP, you've done a couple tournaments. You won your first tournament yeah, with me. Yeah, that was cool. That was really cool. Yeah, but that was cool. And me and Aaron did really well last year there. In Sturgeon, yeah, fourth place. There's 112 boats. Mm -hmm. That was cool, That's but. Above. We got what we remember where we caught those smallmouth? Yeah. We got sandwiched me and Aaron. Literally it's a, it's a little deal. We got sandwiched. We couldn't do nothing yeah. for two hours and I I was hoping that they'd leave and No. Yeah. But we caught we caught them like the yeah. large mouth, mostly yeah. like what we did. That's cool. That was a fun bite for sure. Mm -hmm. That was really fun. Oh no, Aaron's bait. We went on Aaron's bait too. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Aaron left yeah. some uh high tech. <laughs> They're like a horny toad, like yeah. a, a, a plastic frog that you take this rig. And he left them in the boat because we, we fished a tournament the day before, I think. Yeah, we fished Scugog before. No, it was, um, yeah. We fished Scugog before. Scugog. And then yeah. we, fished, we fished Bay Quinty the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he left them in there. So we just <laughs> used them. I mean, they, where we were fishing, they had that love. Little duckweed and then all that moss floating yeah. and all the dead weeds, and you get big bites on top water. Oh yeah, no, it's I dropped there. it. I dropped it in a little hole between the between yeah. the, uh, the the moss on top. And yeah, yeah, that's good fish that's too. Cool. That helped us. That's what made us win. Yeah. That fish is that. That's what sealed the deal. It was really cool, man. Oh, Grant's posting. I saw his Instagram story. <laughs> oh man, did you see that? I saw that. He <laughs> broke my TV, but it. I knew right away when he posted that. I knew who he was with. No, good Tyler sees Tyler. to break a lot of stuff. I, dude, I was fishing with him in uh, November. The next day, he calls me. Yeah, my uh, trolling motor's on fire. <laughs> yeah. In flames. <laughs> yeah. What were they going for? Pike. Today. Pike. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. Like a back lake. I don't know where they were. That would have been fun. That would have been really fun. Yeah, yes. ice fishing season, a lot of people, it was really cool. Um, not this week, that just passed the week before. I took the week off. I took uh, regular clients that I had in the past and contest winners. And uh, we went guided. I went and guided the full week and the weekend, like nine days straight, except for one day where I had to be at work. So that doesn't make it nine days, but it's like four days and four days or nine. I can't remember, but it was uh, it was pretty intense. It was cool. We all caught fish. Uh, each group caught a lake trout. You know that's that's what they want to come mostly with. But you know the lake trout fishery definitely hurting on some go.
it seems like it it's hard to tell like uh but it, it seems like it yeah it's it's definitely hurting I mean, you can tell just in what the government has been putting in you know uh for stockfish the more stockfish you get less pressure on the natural the natural can respawn properly i think uh you know, in 10 years, you're not, it's not going to be the same fishery. Oh, even exactly. for white fish, unless they put more white stock fish. It's, it's, it's a put and take fishery, but if you look at the amount of natural we've caught and you look at the stats that they put in, they put 900 fish Yeah. for a few years, then they put 10,000 or it's 900 fish. Like the survival rate is like 10%. It's very low. It's like 9, 10%. So out of those 900 fish, 100 will be successful and they don't take long to grow like four or five pound whitey is three years old maybe four yeah but they're not they're not that old so you know and the stockfish obviously i would say that they don't reproduce as much as, as the natural yeah. yeah um you know so the season was good you know for whitefish i didn't target perch at all i did a couple of times it wasn't very successful but it was, i did do a couple perch fishing trips i didn't catch any small perch i can say that yeah, yeah the perch i caught was big but not fun claws like i said i might go out thursday or friday do one last kick at the camp for perch because i got some info on a spot that i kind of tripped over but i wanted i wanted to try my buddy's like yeah this guy's been catching him there i'm like well maybe i'll go there now i'll do it so Close to the spot we fish, but yeah, mm -hmm, really close. Deep? No, shallow, shallow. Yeah, I sent somebody there. They said they marked a lot of fish, but nothing. Yeah, probably white fish. A lot of white fish there. They don't stick yeah. around, right? Mm -hmm. But I think I think those fish, because it's in relation to if if you move down to the south a little bit, they might be going there to spawn. You know. Yeah. So I might try that. Yeah, there's current there now too, right? So maybe I'll stay away from it. Then I'll go, I'll go, I'll go um, fish from shore. It's a lot of ice, though, no? Yeah, there's a lot of ice, but once the current gets there, it can yeah. the water can get on top of the ice. Mm -hmm. It also eats that soft ice pretty quick. Current, you gotta be careful, man. And you gotta be careful with the the the, the permanent hooks holes. Uh, we don't. Me and Josh almost hit one. We were cooking back on Thursday, right? Cause we, the crack that ran from, I don't know if you've seen it out there, but the crack that ran from the north end, the north end, right? Yeah. We went on it Tuesday and it opened up more than we thought it was going to. So we yeah. kind of, we ended up, we crossed it pretty far up, pretty yeah. far up north, right? We crossed it down south on the way back in, but we, we got there. It didn't open up much between Tuesday and Thursday, but we were worried that with the, it wasn't too windy, but we were worried that it's gonna open up with the warmth and the wind yeah. rain, right? But we crossed it, we're like, okay, we're good. And we we're pretty late, so we we're cooking it pretty good. And I look over, there's open water, I'm like, oh shit, right? Mm -hmm. There's a big permanent hot hole, not marked or anything. Oh no, people don't mark them here. Yeah, not at all. I think I've seen one hole mark all year. Well, I heard guys, apparently the oral fire department was busy because right, we last through. day, guys were just lighting them on fire and leaving them taking the numbers off really yeah apparently the oral fire department was out there all night <laughs> really yeah well who cares what is it going to catch on fire from what not they're not going to do much that's all right people who do that they're dumb because yeah. the mnr goes out there a couple of weeks before and they take pictures <laughs> you know it's so silly gps yeah it's so silly you just end up with your ticket in the mail <laughs> Yeah, thousand bucks. That's so dumb. So silly. I, especially nowadays, like permanent huts. I mean, what, what's your thought on a permanent hut that sets up on a spot? Does he own the spot? No, he doesn't. If he's not there and there's no snowmobile, there's no track. I'm going to fish beside it. Yeah. Not beside beside it, but, you know, it's not like it's a, most people are fishing mm -hmm. flats nowadays. Yeah. If you're fishing deep. And there's no structure around you yeah, there's no point going around there but you know guys with permanent huts man you know they think they own the whole shoal it's it's true. Be, shouldn't yeah. be like that um it was a classic today you guys watched the whole thing here 
I didn't watch anything. I didn't watch a single minute of it. I've been busy. I don't know who won. Man, that class that had me pump. Really? Yeah, because really? anybody could win. No, it's not like there's a ledge yeah. deal or yeah, yeah. where, you know, everybody could catch them on anything. It's a mixed bag, too. So it's not like it's a small amount or large amount deal. I mean, all moving baits. Now, obviously, the local one mm -hmm. definitely helped. But I figured you were using a win. I Canelli came back. Oh, so I, 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 thought, I, I, I thought out of the evening, I thought it was going to be odd. After the first day, I, I was pretty sure it was going to be odd. And then I thought I had it. I had a chance to come back jacob wheeler it's the second time now yeah and he's like in second or oh, I heard about in contention and man it's a different that, you know, that, that would screw up with you if you have a lot i think just like the pressures of it all and then you know coming so close so many times and yeah um wheeler's beast though. jesse yeah. wiggins is probably one of the best picks out there and he came back in third he was nowhere to be seen he was like i think 16. Mm -hmm. The first day he was like thirtieth, so that's 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 pretty cool. I, I I watched it a little bit. I mostly watched the bass drag. Yeah, that's what I watched. I can only caught a good one like with like thirty minutes to go. I was like, oh man, he captured another one. He might have a chance. So it's an interesting body of water too, that Tennessee River. But yeah, they can run a lot, but there's current. Mm -hmm. We fished uh, just southwest of that on uh, Cumberland. So yeah, it's very similar. It's really it's pretty close to Kentucky there, Cumberland. Yeah, the tennis. Uh, no, actually, it's Cumberland is west, completely west of Knoxville. Okay. Maybe yeah. a little bit north, but mostly west. Um, same thing, man. You get those names. You're not from there. It's right there. I don't know if you guys are going to see. Knoxville is right up here. Where is it? Right here. And then you get Cumberland right here. Cumberland's huge on there. Yeah. Why is Cumberland so big? Cumberland says that's that what big. we say. Where's Del Hollow? Del Hollow's right below it, right here. In the oh, that's right here. Right here. It's right in between Tennessee and Right here, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Del Hollow right here in between. So you need two two fishing licenses to go up this year. Um yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty cool that they have it there. You no, know, but you've seen a lot of guys getting carried die fishing, like Skeet Reese cried on stage. Yes, because yeah. he, he he'll never fish a Bassmasters Classic again unless he qualifies through the opens. Yeah, that's hard to do, man. Qualifying yeah. Bassmasters Classic through the open that means you got to win one. Mm -hmm. I mean, he cried. He's like, he didn't. I think they were told by Bass not to talk about MLF. Yeah, nobody talked about anything about major league fishing mm -hmm. none of none of these guys and you could tell he was teary died because he'd been fishing for like bass master league for like 30, 25 30 yeah, years say he's been fishing he's not he's time. not fishing hey he's the second most money earning in bass masters elite below kevin van down he, he's really? he's had his heyday ski he hasn't mm -hmm. been doing great last few years but no but he, i mean he's consistent 74 top 10. Mm -hmm. That's massive. Mm -hmm. I thought you'd be watching it. I know. I've been busy. The show? No. Just school stuff. Partying. That's cool. Partying. Definitely partying. Definitely partying? Yeah, no. <laughs> she's, she's, she's like that. She's like, like, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> no exams. It's exam season. Exams oh, done. it's March exams break. Done, dude. It's March break. Exams are done. I don't have March break. <laughs> you don't have March break? No, our break was in February. Reading week. Yeah, reading week. Yeah, I wonder if uh, we're going to have any open water soon. Oh, Thanks. man, I really hope so. I'm done with ice fishing. Matt knows. Look at that. Where's Matt? Matt knows. Matt knows. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, another thing, too, is, you know, I went through some of that stuff. He, you know, we talk about tournament fishing because we're obviously fishing in, uh, in bass tournaments, all of us here. And I talked about it. He, I don't know exactly what happened with Major League Fishing. I guess in one of the episodes, he went and said some stuff he shouldn't have said. And he apologized after he said he was getting burnt out. He had a little bit of depression. I think that's, you know, we got to talk about this. We had uh, somebody, not a direct friend that we knew in uh, the circuit that we fished with CBF, 
that was suffering with depression. Uh, it's pretty sad. It happened last week. And I straight up, I've suffered for depression for a long time when I was a teenager. All the way up to maybe I was 28, 29, I went through some swamps. You've got to be able to talk to anybody about it, whether it's your friends, your family, or call somebody, a professional. There's 1-800 online uh, hotlines that you can call in Canada. It doesn't cost you anything. And there'll be people talking to you. And you just, you know, they'll make you feel better. They'll make you, like, let you know you got to take it day by day and, and talk about it to people. The more you let it out, you know, you don't keep it bubbled inside and then something stupid or it makes you make something that you cloud your judgment. You can't even bit. regret it if you yeah. do something. Um, I've been through holes in my life I thought I would never get out of. And I also didn't think I was going to be, I would be where I am right now in my life. You know, um, consider myself with a successful career. Um, I never thought I would own a house. Uh, I own my dream truck. I own my dream boat. And that's, if I did anything stupid, I would have never had that. And those are regrets that, you know, you're probably not going to have if you end up doing anything, but you got to be able to talk about it to somebody. Uh, we live in Canada. So a lot of stuff is free. You know, we're, we're lucky. We don't see it like that. Um, but there's people, it doesn't need to be your parents. It doesn't need to be your friends. But there's nothing to be ashamed of. Nobody needs to know that you talk, you talk to somebody either, right? Talk to a stranger on the street. Sometimes don't let it balled up inside. Just talk to anybody. Um, so, you know, we had some, we, we lost somebody um, last week. So that, that's pretty sad. Uh, not necessarily a close friend, but we would see him a couple of times during the summer. Always joyful, always the, the happy-go-lucky guy. And, you know, sometimes those person that are always making people laugh, look at Robin Williams, mm -hmm. yeah. you know? Yeah, you don't see what happens when behind closed doors, right? He's always making sure everybody's happy around him, but he doesn't care for himself when, he, you know, nobody's making him laugh. Um, so you got to be able to talk about it, you know, especially with the world we live in now with social media and everything, you know, some stuff can appear not as directly bullying to some people, but you can see some stuff that can put you down, you know, especially with the politics going on around the world and all that stuff. It's, you know, it's, we're, we're becoming divided a little bit and uh, we've got to come back to a more natural ground and, and being able to express your feelings without getting hurt and uh, not having to pick a side left or right. You know, you got to be able to, you know, Neutral. Yeah, neutral Switzerland. sometimes. Yeah. Switzerland. No, for Switzerland. sure. For the social Switzerland. Switzerland. Neutral. Neutral. Is it neutral then? Yeah. Why? Just I don't know. All the politics behind it is just <laughs> neutral. <laughs> they have a lot, they have a lot like, of guns over there. I don't think so. Yeah, they do. In Switzerland, they do. Yes. I don't know. Yes. I don't know. I don't I, know. I, I, I work with somebody that lives in Switzerland. Yeah, yeah. Everybody has guns over there. I think, I, as a, I think as a country, like... Yeah, everybody's happy going there. They're, they're just neutral. Yeah. Oh, no, no, yeah. they are. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's what I meant. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Plus, there's many surrounding countries around them. In Switzerland, yeah. you can speak German, yeah. Swiss, France, uh, French, and it Italy. Italian? Italian. 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 <laughs> you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. It's mostly English, though, yeah. Yeah, yeah? English, yeah. too? Well, like, when we went there, it was all English. All like, English? But well, that's like a... Neutral language too. Yeah, yeah. Most countries in Europe are most like a Spanish, lot English, and Chinese. Yeah, is those are the top okay. three, top three yeah. most spoke spoken language. There is a guy that qualified through Bass Nation from Italy fishing them. Yeah, Bass Masters Classic. Yeah. Oh no way! Yeah, good for him. He did all right cool. too. Those Italians, they kind of they like bass fishing, man. The ones that they're hardcore too. Well, the Australians too, the Japanese, the Mexicans. There's mm -hmm. Team Costa Rica now in the Nationals. Yeah. Okay. They got last year. What was the country? One of the countries in the Pan Am. They entered, but they literally didn't have bass in their country. In their country. Thanks, Costa Rica. It was literally, Rica. they entered the tournament. They're like, we've never caught a bass before. Do like, they have bass? Yeah, they do. No, you're kidding. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Mollix, Mollix, they have tournaments. Oh, yeah, Mollix like is from Italy. Yeah, you're right. It's from Italy. And Ike goes there and does a lot of seminars and all that stuff. Well, um, he was from France, so even though you disagree with me, 
Is it? It is. Biwa no. from France. No, it's not. Biwa it is, is, Biwa is the lake in Japan, but it's a French company. Is it? <laughs> and they make amazing baits. I'm going to have to go talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, come on, Yeah, there you go. <laughs> they make great baits. They do. They make soft flash. It's amazing. Yeah, we have to spread secrets. <laughs> you try to get Biwa in Canada. Oh, everywhere. In Canada. Who uh, maybe not. Maybe not. No. I don't Maybe Pro Jays. I don't I even think Pro Jays have. I mean, I think I bought like a pack from Gaines once. That's it. Maybe. I don't even remember. I got some. I'm good. Those it's little, the little. Flipping claws? Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah, great. Yeah. They're great. Yeah. Ar Armor those, those. Yeah, they're Armor great. Parts, yeah. They make good big swim baits for pike, large mount. Make big swim baits? Say that again? Big swim yeah. baits? Yeah, they make big swim baits. Yeah, I had to go look at that. Like this. Like this. <laughs> so I don't have it here. I got the Apex 100 from Duos. Uh, that's the new uh, lip list they came out. Dude, first drop with it. Yeah. I was on the lake. I didn't post a video. The video is not going to come out till next next uh, next fall. Yeah. Saving so up some videos. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Get you guys pumped. I'm probably going to post in yeah. November. Oh, yeah. So I'm out fishing. I'm out guiding. And we only got one lake trout on board. A couple white fish. And uh, Ono was here picking up his sled. Say, hey, I just signed up. He sent me a text. I just, I just picked up the package for you. FedEx dropped it. I said, what does it say on it? He said, do it Japan. I got all this on video, <laughs> even the phone call. I said, I'm coming. I'm literally on the south end of the lake. Takes me 25 minutes. Do 120 all the way back. I pick up the package. I'm like, okay. I'm, I'm really pumped to try to make for late job. I come back. On my way back, I blew a belt. I no way! Blue, yeah, yeah, blue belt. <laughs> and it's and when those things blow, they're everywhere. Like the little moss. I don't, I don't know. Uh, like that. I guess there's fiber in the belt, and the rest is on top is all uh, rubber. Anyway, that went everywhere. And uh, I fixed it. I went back to the client, and uh, I tried it on first drop. I got it on video. You guys will see first drop. I catch a white fish. They're big, man. They're four inches. Yeah, that's a big bait for a No, fish. they're bigger than the, the than. They're about the size of this box. Of the box, and that's a yeah. First drop. That's big. A white fish too. And he had the whole travel in his mouth. Yeah, I had to do surgery on that fish to get so he could get out. So, I mean, this season the lipless bite was. I had a drifter on and a lipless, ninety-eight percent of the time. I literally only caught fish on drifters early season. Yeah. The liplesses and vibratos were the only yeah. baits I caught fish on this year. Same. The, I fished the white tube a couple times. I, I put it on there, didn't have one fish look at it. Actually, no, didn't have one fish look at it. I mean, that, that, that means they're not feeding up. They're all feeding down. Well, no, you were having. You were fishing what? When we were fishing, you were like 15 feet in the bottom. He had all the all, all the fish coming in. They're just totally yeah, 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 going up. Yeah, like yeah. that's like the heyday, rare day. But I'm yeah. I'm talking about the lake trout. Oh yeah, okay. most of the lake trout eating the bottom. It's it's yeah, towards especially towards the end there, we would see fish coming in, and if they hit right away, they were white fish. Yeah, but if they stuck around for five minutes. When we hooked up, they were like trout. Yeah, it was in. They it, for it. It was yeah, and you'd see them. You'd just see the mark, and it would stay there. But we we went out after I got that box. It was that color was really good. You can't really see, but it's a shiny color. The bigger than vibrato. That color was key. Really? Hey. Yeah, it was really good. I caught a lot of white fish on it. I caught them. I caught. I was catching white fish in the lake trout on like green, like a shiny green. Almost looks like the the vibrato color. But I don't know some 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 stuff going on in the chat apparently. Keep it PG thirteen, my dudes, please. Um, oh, so we're going to. Sorry, pardon me. <laughs> pardon me. Have you tried the Z Viber for whiteies? I tried, but it's really it takes too long to get on bottom, and then it's so light, it's really light. that you can't yeah. really feel it. Yeah, that yeah. you tried that yeah. that. that uh, Seek out Slayer Rod, eh? Yeah, it's, it's crazy how sensitive it is. That rod is sick. At first, when I picked it up, I was, I was, I was like, mm, I don't know. When I finished it, I was like, 
Okay, that's different. <laughs> it's good for lake trout. Too, Unbelievable. Man. Oh, yeah. I, no doubt in my mind that rod's got enough power for lake trout. Was it just a long bottle? But yeah, no doubt in my mind that it's got enough. Thank you. Um, it's it's a nice rod, man. It's very nice. This it's is my it's favorite rod. Unbelievable. There's not. Well, the pricing, it's, you know, it's not cheap. It's custom built. It's not made in China. I'm going to tell you one thing. 95 to not, I'd say 99.9% .9 of all the rods that you buy, Daiwa, Shimano, Mega Bass, you call it, they're, they're, it's made in China. Oh, for sure. Every they're single one. Chinese. And you would be surprised, some rod companies, although they're competitors, it's made in the same factory. Oh, oh, oh yeah. They're all, yeah. yeah. Me? Most of the companies are all the same factory. Yeah. 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 There's, it's like rated line. There's not many, comp, uh, there's not many rated line manufacturer out there there's no. two of them yeah. so you can buy product f and product d they're both made in the same company obviously you know some will spend more more money in company stuff is good out of china don't get me wrong but uh going back to the sea cow rod it's made in the usa it's hand wrapped by a guy that's been doing this for a while that knows what he's doing he's putting extra care on it so you're paying for that. I'm not making any money on this. The way to get it, you gotta order it through Tremblay's. And you gotta go now to get it for next season. They're gonna ship in like August. And we're changing the real seeds already carbon fiber, but the uh the screw on the the, the butt seat is carbon fiber instead of uh EVA now. It'll get a lot of sensitivity. Oh yeah, just it's just on top of that, especially because you're like this. You're gonna be able to feel everything. I've tried all those rods out there, guys. All those rods. I don't name any companies because they get butt hurt, but I've tried them all. There's nothing that compares to that when it comes to sensitivity. And it's carbon fiber blank. All mm -hmm. those rods out there that are ice fishing rods, unless it's custom, it's all fiberglass, which is nothing wrong with fiberglass, but you lose a little bit of sensitivity. For sure. It's honestly, you look at, yeah, you'd be surprised at kind of what rods are there are fiberglass or ice fishing rods. They're all fiberglass. Most of them are. Yeah, they're not very Every many single one of them that you buy at the store, most of them are fiber. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, for sure. You can't eat. It's just, it's much cheaper for them to do. But when you think about it, like whether you buy a blank like this or like this, I mean, the real seat's the same real seat as a. Regular, rod. regular spinning rod yeah. that's where most of your cost was going to come from the blank you'd be surprised on how cheap a blank is oh yeah for sure i know a company out there that i used to do business with they sell their rods for about 100 bucks and their cost on it you'd be surprised 12 bucks oh yeah 12 dollars i mean sure they buy tens of thousands but yeah. i mean the markup and then it comes back here they resell it and then and then the storefront resells it i mean everybody's making 50 points on it every time you know so carbon like rods are really cheap to make if you buy a bulk over there and you cheap use cheap component if you are going to go into like the mega bass where they use a different real seat well that's where your cost is going to come from that's why they're going to charge two three hundred bucks mm -hmm. all right it's really hard um to get really good real seat, really good guides. So the guides just on the sea cow rod is twenty two bucks USD. Just the guides, right? But there, there's no better guides. There's Fuji, yeah, 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 there's Fuji yeah. guides. There's nothing better. I mean, and they're big enough that you're you're not going to go through no that you're not to the leader is going to go through no problem. Uh, yeah, I mean, I like that rod a lot. The lake trout rod, I am, um, you know, we're going to put a hold on it. Mm -hmm. So I find a, a, a longer blade that I like, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. You know, there's not a thing we, you know, a company, a really well-known company messaged me. They wanted to sponsor the podcast and, you know, sure, it's all, a little bit more money. And uh, I was thinking about it, but to me, it's, I don't do this for the money. That's the thing, right? I only want to push stuff that you like. That, that that i like you know mm -hmm. and i try that i put my time in and that, that works let's say for ice fishing like i really like the duos from from uh the duo slipless from duo realis i mean it doesn't mean life targets bad i i still use life target mm -hmm. but that's mostly what i use this year well i that's only the only of those i tried this year but um 
that really works for me. Same with the Z Viber, you know, it really works for crappies and perch. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't want to, I didn't fully believe in the brand that I was going to sponsor the show. It's not about making money. I just said, no, thank you. And then they came back with a counter offer and I said, no, thank you. So it's really about promoting stuff that I use that I truly believe in. I don't want this to be a sales pitch ever. Mm -hmm. Back to me anyway. Okay, that's, that's I agree. We're not doing it for the money. There's too much of that. You watch TV shows nowadays and you just for the ads. fishing. All it's all ads. ads. And like even some YouTubers have turned to that too. Yeah. Like not even like like just like putting in like a brand deal here, brand but like they full on like advertisement commercial yeah. ads. Yeah. 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 You know, uh, people are like, oh, well, I'm going to give you this. At, and it's a big item. I'm going to give you this at at, at our cost, at, at uh, retail. At retail. So do a reality service. I'm, I'm not paying for the bakes. They send me a lot of stuff. I do a lot of promotion for them. But a lot of companies will tell you, hey, I'm going to give you this for like $6, which is retail cost. Well, that's what they make money on it, on it already. No mm -hmm. point. No point. You know? And then. They make money off of you. Obviously, you're promoting this stuff, but you gotta, you know, yeah, you don't wanna be a sellout. That's the main thing, you know? And you haven't seen the drill, man. I haven't, I haven't seen your rods either, the sea cow. Oh, it's in the, yeah, the, it's in the garden. I'll get it after. I haven't seen anything. I haven't here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The drone's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep yeah. it. I'm gonna buy it yeah. off, off those guys. Yeah. That's cool. The control's right there. This thing? This yeah. thing? It's an Xbox controller. Oh, wow. Look at the thing. Well, I got some. PS4. I got some really good yeah. footage for you guys that I'm gonna share with you next fall. It's pretty badass what we saw there. I put a little of the footage on my Instagram. Um, that's the smallmouth little 30 second clip. I mean, I can see guys already complaining. Oh, you can't use this pre fishing for a tournament. I are see. I are seeing them complaining. Can't use. The, I mean, if you're gonna ban this, you're gonna have to ban cameras. Pre-vision, it's never gonna happen, right? This is just much easier. Like you can go in structure. The fish are not spooked at all by it. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I try to ram bat, not ram, but like run through a bass, and they're like, "What are you doing?" They just, they're like a cat, just turn around and, and start look at it. One time I was going after a bass, and a bass was just sitting on bottom, and he goes away. And I was just fixing at him, and by the time I turn around, like. I was looking at the bass for five seconds. I turned around, there's like 30 bass funny. Yeah, just, just looking, looking at the girl. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? Yeah. Do guys like use like aqua views on stuff to pre fish? Yeah. Yeah. It's illegal to use a camera during the tournament, during in most tournaments. Yeah. Um, it's, it depends on the rules. Yeah. A lot. But to be honest with you, you don't really need it with all the technology you have. Most people have one of those anyways. Right? Exactly. You got to yeah. trust your electronics. Yeah. And setting up that drone is not a five Minute second drone. deployment. It's a 10, 15 minutes. I got to set it up. I got to <laughs> connect the Wi Fi, put it down there. And, you know, it, it, it's it's done through practice. Yeah. Imagine when we're going to use it on Lake Ontario for what we did. That's Just so getting the footage so for you guys. Geez. They were literally stacked. But imagine now putting this yeah. down and just seeing, yeah. okay, they're, yeah. you know, that's just yeah. showing the footage to you guys. He's, the YouTube's getting cluttered with guys like us, obviously, uh, which is not a bad thing, but everybody has a YouTube channel yeah. now. Yeah. So you got to stand out a little bit more. Yeah, you just a little different. Yeah, you want to. There's a lot of bass, you can see there's a lot of bass guys out there. Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's true. Like there's some people that have like musky channels and you can see they're doing really well because they're yeah. raising different like yeah, yeah. channels and all that stuff. Yeah, I, yeah. I think a lot, of, a lot of guys just want to see people catching fish and yeah. show them what they use and all that stuff. So that that bait from Dual Realis, like the Onimasu, I don't know if I'm saying this right, we got a couple good flies on that. Oh yeah, we really go. sweet. that's one of the best fly baits on market in my opinion. I mean, I was never Our throwing baits like this, this size, to for pike, and uh, we caught a lot of big, big pike on that. Um, you, what, what was the one you were trying when you came? I was using here? a mega bass ice sled. Yeah, yeah. That's when you yeah. had that big fish blow up. Yeah. I can still see it. Oh my god, that lake's pretty fun. That was that was, that was something else. We fish a lake that they will only hit gliding baits, yeah. which is pretty cool. Oh, that's fun though. 
I yeah. Right. Yeah. I had my biggest pike comes on a, it's a lucky crop lighting bait, but yeah. it's like a sunfish. Oh, the, you were throwing it when we were out, I think. Like a bluegill color. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's just not that, it's just no. swimming like a swim bait mostly. You got, you got, you got hit with it too. Yeah. You got a couple of bites on it. Yeah. It. it was. It was a rough bait though. They weren't like taking it or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta slow down. Do you, uh, Realis came out when you used five bait. Did you see that? No, I haven't seen that. Yeah. It's, uh, this came out Bass Masters Classic and it's a bigger one. It's a fat. It's called fat. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fat five bait. So it's like, almost like a lipless. Yeah. A bit, a bit. A bit narrower, not that fat. Yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. I, I like I, I for around here. I think they got they really nailed this five bait. It works really well for around here and kind of bait fish we have. Yeah, yeah. Georgian Bay, so that fat five bait would be better. Oh, for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. Georgian Bay. You, you can throw a spy bait, but yeah, yeah. I don't need to sometimes. <laughs> or or bait. Booty's asking what I think of Life Target Lures. I think they're one of the most innovative company out there when it comes to lure oh, realism. Sure. I mean, I like everything they make, and they make so much, but it just gets expensive buying everything. I target, yeah, but they're nice. They're, they're nice. They're really nice. They get as much as I think they're overrated. Sometimes they also a lot of their baits get are underrated. They get overlooked. Yeah, they, they come out with stuff all the time. Baits. They don't like being copied. Life target. No. It so they've been in a baby copy. Yeah. Something, and then all the other copy, companies kind of copy. And then they stop making it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They stopped making it. Um, which, you know what I ordered? What? Have, I was been a good boy all winter. You guys spent a lot of money on, yeah. on tackle for the summer. Yeah. And uh, with all the guided trips, a couple of guys paid me American. So through my PayPal, so I just used that yeah. money to make a big order. And uh, I ordered the big Gancraft. Oh, good. The, three, the, three, the 300 through or something like that? Or the two or three. Yeah, that one. The two or three, yeah. Oh, I know. I I'm on a couple like swim bait pages. How much is that? I don't remember how much I paid. I think it's like a hundred or a hundred and ten. More than that. More than that. I think it's one sixty US. The one seventy five is is sixty or seventy dollars. Yeah, sixty nine dollars US. Sixty nine dollars. Yeah, you're right. It's about hundred bucks. Give me more than one twenty. No, it's about hundred bucks. I don't people because I get a deal on that, so I yeah. I don't see how much I paid, but. People do really well on that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is one of the nicest, yeah. nice but it's things. super expensive. You threw one last year, remember? No, I no, I don't. Have I that. was throwing you in the boat. You were throwing it. You yeah. had them on. You had. I them. mean, the you're bait. throwing a bait that's sixty dollars. You it's a hundred bucks, a hundred dollar yeah. bill for pike. Yeah, I just bought one too. I yeah, bought my the, first game crab. The perch one. Perch one, yeah. It came back into stock. Had to get one. From tackle warehouse. Uh, Carolina fishing tackle. Where? Carolina Fishing Tackle. I make my swim bait orders through them. Carolina? Yeah, they have more like swim bait stuff. And they have duos there too. They have, have duos, a lot of mega bass, a lot of like old school uh, mega bass stuff. I can, I gotta talk to my buddy because I can get a, a, a deal on that, on the, from that. If, if it's the same guy, yeah. I already talked to him on the yeah. phone. Just gotta get me set up. I'm, I'm set up through Monster Tackle. Monster Tackle didn't mm -hmm. give me anything, um, but they give me a discount, which, Turns out to be the same price once it's in Canada. You get, I'm gonna have to pay tax. I mean, okay. yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. eight hundred dollar USD. Um, when I cross the border, I gotta pay tax on it. So it's about the same thing. All all I'm doing is saving shipping. But nobody's got those bases. You can't get it here. No, no, nobody got them. I ordered. Uh, I don't know if you saw that video. It's a weird looking. I saw. I was on the phone with you. I told. I told, I told you about it. A weird looking bait. Super erratic action. Has a lip in it. Has a weird tail. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. How much is that? It was, it was like 70 bucks, American. Yeah. But literally, I bought the last one yeah. in like America and they've been out of stock since. So I'm really? trying to get more and they're literally nowhere to be found. They have them in Japan though. Yeah, but I'm not paying from Japan. I don't want to pay from Japan. They're it's, ridiculously priced. Ridiculously yeah, but you don't get tax on Japan stuff, no, mostly. No, but the thing is, I don't know. I, I just found Carolina Fishing Tackle has them in stock for longer than like Tackle Warehouse. Yeah. Like, they're kind of like under the radar. Same thing with like, probably Monster Tackle. They they have more stuff in stock maybe. They compared to like. They, they they'll bring around. some stuff, but like they haven't had to do a Realis uh, five eight in a while. No, no. I guess depends, right? Yeah, I 
You know, it's a good store too. Is uh, what do they call Fisherman Central in Ohio? You don't want to walk into that no. store without with your wallet. No, you know, just like going to the casino. <laughs> two, two bills, leave the wallet in the car. Oh man, they, yeah. they have the most. They have. It's about the size of a. Your Canadian car? No, no, it's a bit <laughs> big. Uh, I don't know the size of a like a shop, like a like a store. Yeah, it's a store. It's in a it's like in a, a mall plaza, oh, and. I would say maybe maybe three times the size of Trombley. Really? Wow. It's all geared toward bass fishing, tournament fishermen. Really? Everything. Everything. Cool trip. Mega bass, yeah, every color, fuel, every color. Um, you know, the Lucky Craft, every color. You know how much Lucky Craft colors have they have? Yeah. Zoom, every color. They have a oh, wall. Lord. All zoom. Everything. All color. zoom. Every color, every length, everything they make. Right. You know how I many colors Zoom has? That'd be scary to order. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah, Yamamoto. Every color. Of that. Yeah. No, it's it's pretty cool. It's not far. I was thinking of doing a trip down south this year. I usually do. Maybe we we'll just go to Cumberland this year. Maybe go a little bit later so the fish aren't spawning, or go earlier. Go earlier. Pre spawn. Yeah. Go in a couple of weeks in April. It's not that's that hard. That's when we went to Gunnersville. It's not that hard to go to. It's not that hard to go to Cumberland. It's only what seven hour drive, not eight hour drive. It's not we could even go for like five days or something. Yeah, it's not far at all. How long is the drive to? I mean, it's just right here, man. It's right around the corner. <laughs> it's not that far. It takes it takes longer to get to Windsor than it does to get from. It takes longer to get from really get to Windsor than it does to get from. <laughs> it's not far at all. Windsor. It's probably eight hours from Cumberland. Cumberland. Well, I'll Google it. How how long do you think it is? Are we we saying Barry or really? Let me see it. Let me see it again. Hey, to it. One thing I'm going to do this year is I'm going to do my whole driveway in, in concrete. Barry or Aurelia to to Somerset. Yeah. Hotel. Barry or Aurelia. Really, Aurelia. While he's checking, if you guys are into perch tournament, there's a big perch tournament that we do every year with my club. It's open to everybody. You don't need to be, be part of the club. It's the perch tournament. What date is it? Do you remember? No. He's going to check that too. It's part of the Simcoe Club. Um, it's in April. I think it's April 27. You can check it on cbf.ca or you can send me a message on Instagram. I'll send you the link. It's a uh, two person okay. tournament. And at the end of the day, we have the best, the best fish fry you'll ever have. We have Chef Dodd coming providing it doesn't cost you anything you just gotta help a little bit cleaning the fish he's gonna have fried stuff it's top of the line i did it last year and just the, the food after is worth it that it was fun last the, year the yeah. yeah yeah it was fun last year but the thing is with purchase like the walleye fishermen right you catch one they all come in. It's yeah. like an understanding. Yeah. That's how it goes. Luckily, yeah. bass people they they tend to leave space, which is yeah. fine. But it was really cool because when I found them, I was fishing the drifter on bottom, and I whacked them in front of everybody. So there's yeah. no better feeling. Then Everybody's trying to cast over your line. You're just, yeah. They're fish after fish, and they're big. They're not catching nothing. That there are a lot of those perchers being on gobies now. Wait, what's, what's, Josh is calling me. <laughs> Yo, what do you want, bud? Uh -huh. He hung up. He hung up. <laughs> Josh was calling. Probably yeah, about tomorrow, right? I can't. Yeah. yeah, I can't find the uh, the date for the first tournament, but I think it's around the. It's usually around the twenty seventh. Is it? Yeah, it's I, it's around there. It's a uh, think. It's, it's under one hundred fifty bucks to get in. Uh, if you're on perch, if your best fifteen perch, you're gonna keep them alive. And you you weigh them in, and there's usually 20, 30 boats. And the weather is usually good. It's 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 a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a, I had a lot of fun last year. And the pike tournaments too are fun. You're gonna do the Muskoka pike tournament. Yeah, I'm gonna do it, Josh. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, the season opens the day it opens, right? Yeah. So no free fishing. Josh works on a barge though, so he's just gonna look in the water and free fish. Well, you're allowed to be out there with your boat, but if they see a fish in a while, people will complain. 
right? Yeah. A lot of those tournaments with honor too. Um, so how long is it? Ten hours. Ten hours. Ten hours. We're going, man. There we go. We can we can go at three o'clock. We can leave at three o'clock in the morning. And still fish the afternoon. You're taking a Volvo in your boat, huh, man? Yeah. <laughs> I hope we ain't making it there, man. <laughs> what, what do you mean? mean? Is that a challenge? It's not coming put, unless Polly's in the car. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put like. And there's a, a spare engine and a spare tray in the back. Yeah, for sure. No, just a full on engine, dude. Full, full engine. Hey, on the side of your champion, is it? Are you gonna put a big Volvo sticker? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the number for the fucking boat records. <laughs> <laughs> the auto records, man. So apparently, that guy you talked to, he's redone the whole boat. But yeah, I kind of hurt. That I kind of hurt me. <laughs> no, if you did a good job. Yeah. I mean, did he redo the transom? I don't know. Yeah, there's ways to fix that though. Yeah. Easy. Your dad loves doing that stuff. Well springs, you got so. the best guy to fix that. Holly. Yeah. If I had. He's gonna put so much money into that boat fixing it. I know. <laughs> He's true. gonna help him, man. Yeah. <laughs> His yeah. dad bought it. What, what, what boat did he buy? Oh, uh, is it formula? You bought formula. It's like a, it's like a cigarette boat, <laughs> just a bit shorter. And his goal has always been to beat sea bass in a in boat race. race. That boat does fifty nine, maybe sixty, with lucky. nobody in it. The seats off. He does sixty, but he'll do sixty in three footers. I can't do that, right? So he's so determined to beat me. What did he buy a couple weeks ago? You know, he got. His buddy gave him a nitro scan. <laughs> Even with that, it's one shot. That Dude, engine is done. That engine from like what is it, eighty-seven or something like that is gonna blow up. Yeah, but the thing is, in a car, when you put nitrous, at least you're changing gear, so you're not staying in the red line the whole time. The post, the it's gonna be one line right off. away. It's gonna break the needle. I think it's not gonna break the needle. Snap. I think he's gonna probably blow the gear case. <laughs> the prop's gonna probably fall apart. Have you seen that? The prop buy, falls apart. We're gonna buy stocks in uh, in that that on the water CAA. Oh yeah, <laughs> that guy came to. We're uh, gonna buy the company actually. When you guys go to join a club, you'll get people like that doing seminars. Uh, people like myself or other people doing seminars, and you know you can see their tackle and all that stuff. A lot of the guys though, they push their product like crazy uh, but it's fun when you get a guy that really talks about how he's picking the lake apart mm -hmm. why he's throwing that that's really cool because man i fish one way you fish completely different way you know but that's pretty cool and everybody's like lb's the same she'll she'll fish small mount large mount with big swim baits with something i don't do she does he doesn't do so everybody's pretty cool well how was your summer last year Pretty awesome. I start off a little rough, start off a little rough, but um, July, August, September, swim bait wise, it was awesome. Yeah. Like multiple fish a day on big swim baits. Well, I was, I was always telling you. To I know you, you were telling you, you, you commented they, on my photos because, saying that. Yeah. Because there's trout. It's there's literally there's trout. They're only, they only eat trout for perch. That's it. I said, sure, that's I eat, eat minnows. <laughs> 100%. And yeah, those trout true. still swim shallow. Yeah, yeah. Like this all the time. Especially in the fall. Yeah, I've, I think I've, I caught trout off my off my dock in like two feet of water. Yeah, and they're shallow. Yeah, so I don't have much time in the fall to fish, which kind of sucks because it's the best time. But and, and yeah, it's it'd be cool if that was our actual pattern on one of the tournaments, like we fish yeah, like no, big swim no. I mean, I'm sure you could catch like a one. You, you'd be spending too much time on it. Yeah, so that's it's thing. not it's like time, it's it's about time. catching five big ones. Yeah. Right, I mean, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the catching five and then upgrading. So I've seen the Johnson brothers uh, when they did the pro and fish yeah. against them. I could tell right away they had about 23 pounds in the afternoon when I saw them. They rolled yeah. up to where I was fishing and they didn't care about. They knew there's five pounders where I was fishing. They didn't want five pounders. They were looking for five, six pounders, uh, six, seven pounders, yeah. just with the size of bait they were throwing. They didn't care. They knew that if they're getting bit, they're getting big fish. That was pretty. That's, that's fun though. That's a, like I fish a lot during the summertime, and I fish 
the same general lakes and yeah. the same area. So it gets pretty boring for me. Yeah. Fishing big swim something's totally different. Like I'm grinding out there all freaking day, right? But still, it's just totally different. It's something a little more fun to do. You got auto chart now, right? Yeah. So you got that map. It's, it's not mapped that way. There's there's three lakes around me when I'm out this year. One of them has, but one of them has natural no, one of them has natural lake trout. Really? I oh, that's a bigger one. It's a bigger one. Yeah, you can't fish in the winter. No, it opens up. I'm pretty sure it opens up in uh in January. Okay. There's one I lake by you that has you can't yeah, fish. Yeah, no, in I'm winter. not talking about that one. That was part. That, 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 that one has massive lake trout. It has massive everything. I've I've Huge pike, big smallmouth, big smallmouth. I bought largemouth. I don't know about largemouth. I'm pretty sure they're big in there too. I've just heard really big smallmouth and pike. I never went your way to fish. Come on over. You stay at my place. It's so busy Up though. Door. It's so busy no. for us. No, for oh, us. Oh, yeah, yeah, for you, for you. It's yeah, the summer, it's the summer's tough. You guys yeah. Don't, yeah. So that summer. tournament season, man, is grueling. It's, like, it's, from, yeah. from second week of June. So like and you guys are busy all guys, summer. Guys don't mid September is yeah. nuts. Yeah. Guys don't get that. I last year for bass, I'm pretty sure I went fun fishing twice. For bass. Yeah, it's all I'm either and, practicing or fishing yeah, a tournament. Yeah. And yeah. It, it gets tough in the summer too, because I'm like because your foot on your foot's on the gas the whole time, right? And it, it's it's hard to try new things and stuff like yeah. that. But like practice is different, but if you're really focusing on practice, you're not Screwing around, right? But we didn't really practice last year, did we? We every time we practiced, we shit in the tournament. So. Hold on, we didn't practice for 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 anything. We need practice for, for the classic. That's it. Yeah, half a day the day before yeah. or the day before closing. Yeah, I think it was a Friday. Yeah, yeah. And the tournament Saturday, uh, Thursday. Yeah, half a day. Yeah, we didn't see ourselves. And we found the model load, and we said, "All right." <laughs> yeah, <you're there. laughs> the model load was not in the light. Well, the next day, oh, no, for sure. We had like, we saw them though, man. dude. Since there was, there was, there was a lot of big fish there, man. Yeah, you know what? We gotta figure out. I don't think it's a large amount, it's a mixed bag there. I, I think, yeah, I, I really think because we screwed up. We tried to get a large amount bite in practice and we couldn't, but I think that really screwed us up. I think if we would have fished for large mouth the day of the tournament, we would have caught them. I think they were off when we were fishing for them and on when we weren't, if that makes yeah, any yeah, sense. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? I think it's a mixed bag. You can't just say smallies or, or large mountain. Mm -hmm. uh, we tried. Like in practice, you were sleeping, but I, I, I picked what? apart a few. What? I was like, sleeping. You were sleeping. Like that. You, were sleeping. <laughs> you were nap for probably two hours. Did I? And I was picking apart. Those that's what we do. Yeah. yeah. And I was sleeping that the classic that did really well. And that's when I catch the big fish. Every time you fall asleep, I was like a big one. I'm like, okay, this is a good spot. <laughs> I don't remember sleeping, but yeah, what was I sleeping? We, we, like, we, we fished. Oh, yeah, the weed beds. The weed beds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember now sleeping. Yeah. But that pre that's heavily pressure during the tournament. But no, I guarantee you that's where guys caught them. I guarantee yeah, you. Sure. I guarantee you. But I always go there. there. We never catch them good. But I'm not saying we should have went there. I don't that think it would have mattered. That but, lake? I, I, Andy's not gonna like that if he watches this, but the classic shouldn't be a hundred boat. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be a hundred boat feel or ninety boat feel. It should be thirty. Mm -hmm. It we're a smaller circuit. Look at the Bassmasters Elite. The the classic's 52, 54 boats. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no need to have that many boats. It should be a challenge to make it to the classic. You made it into the classic. It should be. Yes, that should be a goal for the season. Yeah. I mean, last year we had a really good finish, fourth place on Spurgeon with 112 or 110 boats. That really helped us. We had a, a below average season on everything else. Yeah. No, no, we didn't get any money on anything yeah, else. Got we seven. were both 10 at the class. That we, we finished top yeah. 10 out of all three divisions. Yeah. It takes no skills. Yeah, he's, he's buckered over there. If you ever watch this anything, yeah. but it's true, man. We it's we true. also we yeah we also didn't place horribly in any tournaments besides the classic. All the other tournaments oh, we were all, we were all top twenty, right? Which is both which is crap, but like it still is. Hey, that in first year we should not have finished top ten. I kind of uh, it, to qualify for the classic. Yeah, it should be tough. 
Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, yeah, that's kind of it's just nothing. Tough. That's really we can't really blame Andy for that. Though. No, but he makes the rules. Yeah. Because if it was a twenty boat classic, we still would have made the classic. If it was a ten boat classic, we still would have made the classic. So yeah, but can't. at least you're like, hey man, good. We can't you know, we made it. Who bought a skin of her teeth? Yeah. Now it doesn't matter. Listen, if I don't make the classic this year, although they he cut the field down from forty to thirty. Yeah. If I don't make the classic this year, I should sell the boat. <laughs> Honestly. You can go with a tenner out there as long as you catch five little ones. It doesn't matter. You're gonna make the classic. There's no, there's no pride in making the classic anymore. There, were, there was guys that didn't fish every event, or yeah, they're they're just didn't, four. yeah, and then they and one of them had they had zero fish. You still make the classic. You, you, still still make you dumped your bag. And you still make the classic. Congratulations. Wait, but it's true though. It's true. It's like the same thing with the CBF was doing really well. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys took pride in making Team Ontario. Yeah, it was the best twelve anglers that finished in the i think it's top six boaters mm -hmm. and top six non-boaters you have to fish three out of the five events that are joint like mm -hmm. a, um, a regional event and at the end of the season depending on where you finish you that that meant a lot to the guys yeah that's why was making the team. that's why you don't see that anymore I mean, making the team now is they sent fifty guys. Yeah. As long as I fish the tournaments, you go, you go do the regional or divisionals or whatever. Mm -hmm. Nah. I mean, it's all about having a goal and trying to succeed. It. But if your goal is to go get the loaf of bread in the in the in the cupboard, I mean, everybody can do that. Then there's no challenge and people give up. It's like, oh, it's not fun anymore. Yeah. It's true though. Like my goal, it's never gonna happen. But it was to be would be to make the Bassmasters Classic. Mm -hmm. Right, that's really hard to do, but just making the Bassmasters Classic, you know, that takes pride. You know, you can go to bed knowing, and I made the Bassmasters Classic. I might have finished last. Yeah, right. You can't make it accessible for everybody. Mm -hmm. I think. What do you think, LB? So you don't fish those. I'm the tournament. I don't really have much of an here. I know what you mean, though. It shouldn't be easy to if there's so much going into it kind of thing yeah it's called the classic you know what i mean like you should it should be harder to get into yeah but um yeah i don't know it should be it should be that first of all it's about viewership sponsorship and wanting to be in that position so you're looking at that if i don't make the classic i don't know watch the guys making the classic i'll be like you know aaron make the classic you know he's he, he finished eighth overall. I'm gonna watch. I can't fish anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So you, you're gonna get views like that's, and, and it's gonna be talked about. Although Aaron didn't win the classic, maybe he finished fourth or fifth. Man, he qualified for the classic. That's a big achievement. Making the classic should be tougher, in my opinion. And I, I and, and fishing for a regional, a divisional. I know it's the whole TBF screwed up the format on that. It was more fun when you were, you had to qualify for it. Yeah, for sure. And it was more competitive. It was more competitive, right? And that's really what, I, <laughs> that's what drives guys. I would fish with these guys and be like, oh, I need to do well in this tournament because I need to make the, I need to make the team. I want to make the team. I'm close to making the team, right? This guy's make the team. I'm like, oh, well, but now it's like, who cares? Yeah. And what am I going to do? I'm going to fish a, fish a joint event to try and win on friggin price lake and win three hundred dollars you know what i mean yeah. like, okay this is great it's it should be really you know, go fish against some of the best anglers on ontario and make 300 bucks it's about the competition but at the end of the day it's like yeah but it, sh it should be a reward yeah you know making like, making make should be a reward yeah for sure yeah it's, it, that's your reward i mean the cbf's not bad the payout's not bad because when you're a boater you don't pay anything you're yeah going to go pays for it which covers your his gas yeah i mean yeah you always paid for the tournament when we fished the cbf open tournament yeah. and it's about 100 120 bucks with big fish unless you're with josh he's not going to pay uh <laughs> greedy bucks so yeah i lost about 700 bucks because of that we won a tournament but he didn't pay the extra 20 dollars for the side bet yeah so the guy that won the side bet finished second place josh didn't pay i lost about Seven hundred bucks. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's all right. He's British. He's forgiven. There you go. He doesn't know. 
they don't do that in this culture. <laughs> carp fishing. Carp fishing, yeah. Carp fishing tournaments. Well, I can't blame it. It's first tournament, too. There's no greedy bucking. It's first tournament, tournament, too. Yeah. Right. So he, I wasn't mad. I, at the end of the day, it's not about the money. No, for sure. Definitely not. Not at all. If you're in this for the money, you're in the wrong sport. No, for sure. Okay. Go on black deck. Yeah. Look at it. Look at the classic too. Three hundred thousand dollars to win the biggest bash tournament ever. You would think there'd be more money behind it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, back in the days, I think it was a million at one point. No way. Yeah. It was five hundred thousand yeah. for a while. Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. But when you think about it, your year cost to fish the Bassmasters Elite, it's eighty thousand dollars USD. Oh, easy. So you win that three you win that three hundred thousand dollars. You got to give some of it to the government. Yeah. And then you got to pay for your next season. Then you're stuck with what one hundred twenty thousand dollars. Unless you're Jordan. Unless you're Jordan Lee. <laughs> you would think this guy would get more coverage and he gets more nothing. Sponsors, he gets nothing. More sponsors. Total, nothing. He gets nothing. I don't know what's up. That's why I respect guys like Ike. You know. Yeah. He might not. I think he's a really good fisherman. He yeah. won a classic, yeah. but the last time he won a classic, 2004, 2003. Mm -hmm. yeah. Long time ago, when he gets the best sponsors because people watch it. Mm -hmm. Right? He'll yeah. freak out and break a light bulb, <laughs> or he'll break a rod. But he's like, that's who he is. He does. It's not a knack. Yeah. I, I'm not saying Jordan Lee. He looks like a, a guy that's never gonna flip or anything. But people, at the end of the day. Jordan yeah. Lee's also kind of new to it, right? Mm -hmm. He's young and I think he's you know, one of the best fishermen out there. Look oh, for the, sure. Look at the Lane brothers. You never hear about the Lane brothers. No. Who yeah. are they? Yeah. Right? Great anglers, but you never hear from them. They get a lot of coverage in the elite, though. So. Elaine. Both of them. Yeah. Chris and Bob Elaine. Um I think yeah, I think you gotta you gotta be a lot of them a lot of those guys. Don't really express their full emotion when stuff happens to them. Sponsors online, which is understandable because the sponsors pays for that yeah. the six thousand dollar entrance, mm -hmm. right? And you get six tournaments, six thousand dollars USD. So yeah, you're going to be more. But that's why guys like Ike, Gerald Swindle, Skeet Reese, they're a bit more vocal. They can make more money. There's not like there's Kevin Van Dam. Gerald Swindle, Ike, am I forgetting one that's making good money on sponsors? I'm talking good money, where oh. they make more on sponsor money than they do winning a tournament. Scott Martin. Scott Martin, yeah, for sure. I know how much he has. He's expensive. He probably makes more money than Kevin Van Dam. <laughs> His lowest, yeah, I'm not going to say anything, but yeah, Scott Martin, but he puts the time. He's got a YouTube show, he's got a TV show, and he's a good angler. Or you can be like Steve Kennedy and literally wear the jersey they give you when you buy a pass. <laughs> yeah, but the guy's amazing stick. He's a great stick. Amazing. He's amazing. my favorite. He's one of the best anglers on the tour. And he's no sponsors. But literally, he's like, I want the most expensive hobby in the world. Golf's too cheap. And he's like, I want to be an elite series pro. Yeah. <laughs> but he's a, you know, he's, I, I love Steve Kennedy. We met him at the closet. Yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah. We met him. We met. John Cruz, we met Fighter. Set Fighter. See, he's a character. People fall, mm -hmm. right? He went from literally being a nobody to wearing Angler of the Year, being on Zona, and everybody's about Set Fighter. He was your favorite Angler, right? He was, yeah. He was a handyman at a at minor, minor crush. crush. What? Minor crush. Minor crush on Set Fighter? The mustache, really. Or the flow. It's the hair. It's the flow. It's the hair. It's definitely the flow. It's the hair. Yeah, Alan Jackson's like Jackson stash doesn't it's the stash. It the stash makes the flow though. You can't have the Yeah, no, you can't. Yeah. It'd be you creepy as hell if you just had a stash. like a shaved head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that mustache, it'd be creepy as hell. Yeah. It's like it's like having an Oreo with a <laughs> Exactly, yeah. exactly. You can tell me. Yeah. All right, read, read some of the questions there. Can you see some of it? See if we got some questions. Not many questions. We're getting We're crap. We're not about, reading uh, it before. Talking but. about steel steel head fishing a while back. Or Are you gonna go steelhead fishing? We drag you out there. No, because I'm on like Ike and Ellie. You don't want to see anybody getting a <laughs> nine foot rod oh, back you're, in the you're, neck. You were gonna get yeah, I, I, no. well, I, I enjoy fishing because I enjoy the they all know it. I enjoy being outdoors, relaxing. Without 
without a crowd. Yeah. yeah. We just literally. I had a buddy of mine came in Cabela's the other day. He had a story about him almost getting robbed fishing dolphins. Yeah. Oh, other people that got robbed fishing dolphins, yeah. Yeah. How? Just full on. Just give me your phone. <laughs> give me your wallet. Yeah. Where's that? Dolphins. That's where I live. In Pickering? Yeah. Wow. The guy, the guy came down. The guy came Whitby? down. Is that Whitby? No. Dolphins? No. Pickering? Pickering. Pickering, you got to pee. Yeah, we got to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really? You know, I've been spending a lot of time there too. It's kind of like I, I won't go out alone. I will never go out to like fishing alone. It's so sketchy. Really? Yeah. Okay, Especially like if who you comes to you? Okay, no, Another fisherman okay, no, no. comes and robs you? Maybe like, I don't know. Maybe I just got the wrong impression because I kind of start, I started off fishing like Oshawa in that area. Yeah. So you guys got the wrong impression of people that fish. But who robs you? There's oh, another no, fisherman. No, like, there was the guy. The guy was some random dude. He came. He had like a little pocket knife, right? And there's three. You robbed him at armed robbery? There was, there was three guys. He, there was but three. that stuff doesn't happen in Texas. You know that, right? There was three guys on the river, right? Yeah, yeah. But there, yeah, there was three guys on the river, right? So this guy comes, he's like, oh, give me your fishing gear. And he's like, Wait, why? What, like, why? why? We're going to give you our, our fishing gear. He's like, I got a knife, man. He's like, don't be stupid. And the, the guy had a fillet knife in his pocket, right? So he pulled it out. He's like, I got a knife too. He's like, guess what? Those three guys have a nice knife too. He's like, so you can come out here if you oh. want. And he's like, I think my knife trumps your knife, right? Yeah. The guy started walking in. He's like, if you come any closer, I'm going to drown you in the river, right? And I guess the guy screwed off, but. Just getting whipped by a nine foot salmon rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the way to scar. Yeah. You can really reach far with that too. Snap on a treble hook, 80 pound braid. <laughs> Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> that stuff don't happen where in Texas. You will get shot. Yeah. It's the stand your ground rules. You will get shot. There's no road rage in Texas. You don't flip the bird to anybody because he's got a gun. If he comes out, you're going to shoot him. Or this versa. That's that's sad, man. That's sad. I, I used to go to high school and I saw a guy getting it off for the first time. Yeah. Taxed, we call it. He got taxed. Yeah. No. He had a Walkman. Remember the Walkman? Oh like, no, yeah, the the disc edge one? yeah. Yeah, disc yeah, yeah, yeah. Disc man. He was all happy, he was going home listening to Blink 182. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and some some folk saw him and oh man. They wanted they wanted his they wanted disc man. Yeah. I thought that was that was that was back in seventh days, you had a disc man? Or, or, it was a disc man. I think I had a, a walkman for a while too. I had, I think I, I had my brother had a disc man. I was probably in grade two or three. Probably don't even know what no, it is. <laughs> when you like <laughs> it, imagine back in the days that, in, in fishing, the graphs were paper first. It was literally a chart. Yeah. I didn't like fishing with that. You have to like change the paper. <laughs> no, even a flasher. You did the flip. Even a flasher. I mean, you can't argue that flasher is more responsive now with the Elite Seven that came out. Yeah, the that's real time with that transducer. Yeah. The, you just you can't argue that it's real real time. Um, what what else is like that? I mean, fishing fishing rods are not five foot six anymore. <laughs> They're all like yeah. at least seven. Yeah. Really hard to find a good six nine now for deep baiting too. Most of those rods are you know so long, eight yeah. foot. Yeah, that's just <laughs> <laughs> we're reading some of the stuff there. Guys, if you guys do have any questions, we're going to wrap this show up pretty quickly. Uh, these guys got to go fish early tomorrow. We're going to wrap this up at 9. But uh, I, I, I'm happy you guys showed up. 53 people showed up. I was pretty cool, man. For, especially for a light trout season being over. Hey, you came out with me. I you caught that big white fish. Yeah. No lake trout. No bird. I had a client um, last, not this week, that just passed week. Before that caught an eight pound uh, white fish on the scale, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That's cool. It was big. It had 15 gobies in them. Yeah, big ones too. Should have seen some big ones. ones. Should have seen some of the ones me and Josh were catching up there. So we got to a pot of them. Every one was huge in this school. It was unbelievable. I hooked the first one. I was like, white fish? Holy crap, right? He hooked another one. I'm like, oh my god. 
huge, dude. Well, the same spot. Time, you guys have been same, same spot. Yeah, really. Yeah, we bounced. Yeah, we bounced around, and then, yeah, we we kind of went back there. It was a good spot all year, but a lot of people saw us. Uh, I know it's dead now, but it'll change. I mean, that whole week I guided, I got had my pulse on the lake pretty good, and uh, every day I would fish different spots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I found a lot of stuff that's pretty cool. Me and Josh had the fun idea that on Thursday, Thursday, the last day we're going to be out there is going to be the day we're going to move around and find fit. So we fished pretty much all new spots until we went back there. But uh, did you catch anything moving? Oh, yeah, yeah, we caught whitefish pretty much everywhere. Wow, but that's pretty only good. a couple spots we didn't. Were you in charge when Kim was away? This sports, group? I'm always in charge, just nobody listens to me. Outdoorsy gals asking how many trout we caught this year. Um, myself, your clients caught a lot. Yeah, every client I've had caught lake trout. Um, I can't remember how many it caught. One good one with you. Yeah, that's um, People don't understand how no, it's big. Fish that was. It's big. It's a big fish. Huge. Big fish for sure. Um, it's definitely struggling, and next year is going to be even worse. In three, four years, you'll be lucky to catch a lake trout during the whole season. You should go off some of the YouTube videos during the winter. But it's not about the it's not about <laughs> the YouTube think about video. it. The YouTube not, videos not, are not hurting the fishery. It's not that. It's the guys keeping everything that swims and the guys going in August when the water temperature is 78 Fahrenheit, dragging oh, them okay. behind a boat. That's what kills the lake trout. Yeah. A hundred and ten percent. 110 percent those lake trout men they stay 50 fahrenheit or lower yep. it's not a big lake those lakes and coves not a big lake it's not like the you know tamagami where there's deep water everywhere the deepest spot is 133 feet 136 mm-hmm. feet yeah and, and that's a tiny spot most of the lake is 100 feet i mean it gets hot down there it's really hot for those yeah, lake trout. they're already hot. staying down in august and guys go go out and pull them out I mean, the minute they hit 60, 70, they're out there for a couple of pictures. You toss them back. The boat's not even stopped. You don't know that fish is floating back up or straight down. I mean, that's what really hurts the fishery, I think. I think. It's definitely part of it. There's there's a lot of, uh, yeah, there, there's, yeah, it's definitely part of it. The, the survival rate of those fish is very good. White fish, too. If you keep white fish in the summer, you might as well keep them. Yeah, I think so, too. You might like you just might as well keep them. I think so too. Don't bother really. And white fish in 60, 50 to 120 feet. If you can, if you bring them up too quick, they won't go back down. No. no. That's why you see some when the water's uh, the ice is clear. You see some in community holes, just like, hey, there's a white fish there. That fish got brought up too quick. Can't go back down. You gotta take your time when you catch a white fish deep. That's why I do enjoy catching white fish out because I know I chuck it back down just fine. One two's asking if I'll be at the North GTA tackle swap. No, I'm not allowed to be in there, my friend. Like, they probably have a poster, no see that. They're, they're like wanted. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't go to I don't go to trade shows anymore. I'll let you wear my hoodie and you go and you sneak in. I don't go like I'm Aaron. My Cabela shirt, they'll give you a name badge. I'd rather go fishing. Yeah, no, I agree with you for sure. Definitely. I don't think I don't think you need to go to both, or I don't think you need to go to more than one a year. No, there's no point going to like all three or all four. Oh, no. It depends what you're looking for. Like I yeah, like. Yeah, if, really, if you're looking for deals, that's different. It, it, there's it's, no deals though at those shows. It's twenty bucks to get in. I like. Yeah, but there was there was when you went there was deals. There where was, all there was all right deals. Like it depends what you're looking. That's for. That's why those tackle swaps now are getting more attention. Yeah. Because that's where you get your deals. Yeah. There's no deals. Same with the ice fishing show. I like the ice fishing show. Because you can't fish then. I mean, no, you're in between fish, season. Right? I mean, you can't fish, but this season you can fish. But the season before, you can fish anywhere. It's all open water unless you take your boat out. And Aaron will take your boat out for perch in minus three <laughs> to ten. No, I mean that's why I like the ice fishing show in December. All those fishing shows should be in December, or they should be right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In between yes. season. No, nah, I mean. Yeah. The not the sportsman show, the other one. Fishing and boat show. Spring fishing and boat show. To me, it's death smacking that season. I'm not going. Yeah. yeah. But I'm I'm pretty far from here too, right? 
It's like doing a nice fishing show in February. You're not going to get yeah. anybody. Mm-hmm. Those big, it's all about placing those those shows at the right time. It should be, uh, yeah, it should be like the season. A fishing show should be in April. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When the ice the is really should be before open water, though. Yeah, yeah. second yeah. week of April. Yeah, there you go. Second week of April, you know, guys are jonesing to get out. It's, it's getting nice out. That's when people are really out the edge to go buy a boat in February. Man, I'm not saying about anything. About creeks. What creeks? <laughs> creek He's history. thinking about creeks. I'm oh, about stepping creeks. on people's foot and yeah. getting stepped on? Yeah. No. You're, You're like... so excited. I'm so, you have no idea the thrill catching this field either. No, I've done it. You've done it? Yeah. It Brian so took fun. me out. We so caught a bus. I got so a video fun. doing it. Yeah. 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 I see that one. Yeah, from Lake Erie. We caught a bunch of. Oh, yeah, yeah. You told me about that. Yeah. I mean, it's fun. It's so fun. It's also a pain, but it's fun. It's fun, no, for sure. It's fun. It's fun. Uh, yeah, but I fish weekend, right? Yeah. So I mean, I do too. It's a shit show, but yeah. I mean, maybe maybe I should try it. You guys, I'll go with you guys. Sure. The Gany. Where's that? Oh, we can use them in the Gany combat. Yeah, fishing, you can man. combat combat fishing. fishing? <laughs> <laughs> Little elbow there. Give me your rod. No, is that my rod? Or like, give me your pool. <laughs> I don't care where you're right. You take your out of there and get out of here. Let me fish the pool. With, I'm reading some. My spirit animal. I don't know right now. I think the sleepy panda one. The guy was, it was too late in December. It wasn't too late. I mean, we can't predict the weather where it is, but in December, not many people go ice fish unless you're hardcore and you got you go find three inches of ice somewhere, but it's well placed that ice fishing show. Well placed. The bass season's over. You know, the only thing that's open is crappy and perch. It's I mean, and their lake trout open, but the big lakes won't be frozen by that. But guys, we're gonna wrap it up. The Gaddy is UFC fishing. Did you watch that fight? Do, uh, or I knew that was gonna happen, happen, man. Everybody was like, "Oh, killed them," next. and then and then. He won against uh, Leon Edwards in the back room. Did you see yeah, that? Yeah, I saw that too. I, I knew that was going to happen. You don't mess man. with people from the ghetto that are really dude from the ghetto. He, he, everybody is like, oh, next fight's going to be Till versus Asker. And I'm like, there's no, uh, yeah, he's got to get through Mazadol. Mazadol's game, game, man. Killer, dude. He's dude. never going to be champion. Did you see what happened in the back room? Not really, you know. He busted Leon Edwards. Leon Edwards like called him, I'll see you in July. And then, uh, Jorge Macedo was in an interview, looked at him and said, come say that to my face. Leon Edwards put his hands up walking towards him. Jorge Macedo was like this. Three-piece combo and a soda, he said. <laughs> I gave him a good old three-piece combo and a soda and I walked away. Busted him. Jorge, good dude. You can't talk crap to guys who really live from the hoods. Yeah. They don't the care. Beers, brother. Who no, who they lived in that. They got stabbed by a pen. Who was it that... Uh, oh man, who was it that fought in the hospital? Yeah, they fought yes, in the hospital. Nick Diaz, Nick Diaz, That's Jimmy cool. lost too. Yeah, the fourth round they call it. The fourth round, yeah, the fourth round. They, 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 they went four <laughs> another round in the hospital. He's in the gurney too. <laughs> Uh, Diesel Riggs. Yeah, Joe Riggs. Yeah, that's who. <laughs> These guys don't mess around, man. They're different. That's why they're entertaining a lot. Yeah, for sure. You know, it's yeah. like I can now. You know, he's entertaining to watch because he's just going to say whatever's on his mind and not be reserved. Anything you got to say? I have never watched a UFC fight, so no. What? No. What's wrong with you? Poland. <laughs> Poland. There's, there's Poland. good Polish fighters. Yeah, the, Pol- um, the Polish fighters are probably those crazy people with the fucking, <laughs> with, with the armor on that are kicking each other. <laughs> the K1 guys are yeah. probably all Polish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's good there's good fighters out the pole. Yeah. I had a guy when I trained with him. Um, there's a guy from Toronto, isn't he? That's Polish. He fought He you know, got knocked out by he got knocked out by Johnny Walker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's his name. Kirschkopf. Kirschkopf, that's who his yeah. name. Yeah. I trained with a Polish guy when I first yeah. started. He was a really good Muay Thai fighter. And somebody broke his jaw, but he wasn't permanent resident yet. And if he said if he was gonna go to hospital get it fixed. He was going to look yeah. bad on his permanent residence, so he went back to Poland, never went back. 
and dude, he, his jaw was messed up forever. He never got it fixed. Uh, yeah, that happens. That happens. But there's no, like, when you go into a gym or when you go, there's no politics. There's no, like, people don't talk bad about other people on their back in the gym or in, in the fight scene because they know it would be dealt with. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, it's always dealt with. They're, you're going to meet the guy it's in the gym. Like Fishing right no, 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 no. It's like, real. It's yeah. a bit more pure. Like there's yeah. not none of that, you know, none of that stuff that you see in the background. But uh guys, thanks for having us. Check Lady Bass, Lady Bass on Instagram. Lady Bass fishing on Instagram. It's not the Lady Bass anymore. Not anymore. I changed that. Yeah. Lady Bass fishing on Instagram. Yeah. We post a lot. YouTube videos too. You haven't posted one. I haven't posted in a while. Two weeks. I haven't. Been, I've been fishing. We well, usually post been, one every week. Yeah. I know, I'm just laughing. That's all right. I need a break. I need a break. It's yeah. too much. So. Get burnt out. Yeah, for sure. Um, Aaron Vela 97. That's Aaron right. underscore Vela 97 on Instagram. It's a private account. And uh, he's <laughs> on either her channel or my channel. Me? It's a private account? No, it's not. <laughs> how, many subscribe, how many followers do you got? 1,300, I think. 1,300. Yeah. Most of them are bots. What, what are you at? 600. Are yeah. Uh, 13. Wow, thirteen thousand and on YouTube. Twenty three, three or four, yeah. Wow, price. That's the biggest one in Ontario. Yeah. Fishing. Yeah. Fishing wise, fishing wise. Who else is big? Fishing wise. In Ontario yeah. or in Canada? In Ontario. I don't know. Canada. Canada on Canada. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, you can't, then, can't compete with that guy. No, you can't. I can't, I can't believe best, he doesn't have best, a million yet. Best content on I can't. I can't believe he doesn't have a million yet. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I, I, think, it, I think if he's more consistent, he would get there. It's true. But he doesn't want to right. post any any yeah. bad stuff. No. No. I don't know. But yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Um, don't forget to sub to subscribe to our channel. And uh, hit like and share this video. Appreciate uh, you guys tuning in. We're going to wrap this up. Thank you. Thanks, guys.